Welcome back everybody, this is Jimmy Chang and I am on my one wheel riding around the Cherry Creek Reservoir and Cherry Creek State Park in Colorado. I love riding on my one wheel, it gives me a chance to think and during this ride I was thinking about footwear and my shoes. As you know I asked for suggestions for footwear and you guys offered them. When I do ride in trails, rocky trails, I like to wear these hiking shoes because they offer me stability and if I ever need to get off my board and hike, they're perfect for that. If I'm just riding around in the neighborhood, I like to wear these running shoes. So you guys offered a lot of suggestions. I mean, obviously there are Vans, and then there are these other uh, companies that I w uh, was less familiar with because I don't come from a skating background, but you can see from the logos there um, that there are some options to choose from when it comes to skating shoes. Before we get any further into the discussion of shoes, I just wanted to show off my XR. It's got some new things. We've got a new front foot plate, this plug brush cover, and a new uh, back foot plate. The plug brush mini was given to me by Rick. Thanks, Rick. Go check him out at plugbrush.com. The front foot plate was given to me, and there I get stuck in the soft sand there. Um, you can learn more about riding in the sand in one of my previous videos but the front foot plate I got from June Kim, thank you very much, and the back foot, foot plate uh, was also given to me by Rick from uh, plugrush.com. So thanks guys. So back to our discussion regarding shoes for the one wheel. So I think the type of shoe wear that you ride is very important, especially if you're like me where your feet take up 90% of the screen time on your videos. Since people are staring at my footwear during the majority of my videos, I often get a lot of questions as to why I'm not wearing skate, skater type shoes. So like I said before, how you ride and the type of terrain you ride will dictate the type of shoe you wear. As for me, I don't do very many tricks. I basically just like to ride in the streets, cruise around in the neighborhood, and also ride on different types of off-road terrain such as in the mountains um, in different state parks and so that's why I like to ride in these uh, either these running shoes these are trail running shoes zero drop trail running shoes they're pretty old but basically they're designed for running on trails and the zero drop is supposed to simulate um, barefoot running which was uh, pretty popular at one point so back to skateboard shoes Skater shoes are designed for skateboarders, and skateboarders often do tricks, a lot of kickflips, um, you know, tricks at the skate park, and so those shoes are designed to be durable in a different way than how I use my one wheel. So after much thought and after some research, I put together a list of things that I am looking for in my shoe for riding a one wheel. But I'm just going to stop talking here so we can listen in on this conversation. What's up? I'm cheating? Yeah, you're cheating. <laughs> you got... nice, man. Nice, man. Thanks, man. It's a lot of fun. Did you admit that? No, I didn't. It's pretty good. It's a lot of fun. How fast are you going? Uh, it'll go about 18 miles an hour. Really? 19 miles an hour, yeah. Yep. It's, uh, and you can go on trails and stuff. It's a lot of fun. You ever take it to the yeah, I take it up to the mountains. Yeah. I take it up to the mountains. I take it to the beach. Oh, yeah. I've taken it to uh, New York, to Hawaii. Is that right? Yeah, it's yeah, pretty that's good. Nice. nice. That's the first time I've seen that. Yeah, yeah, so it's called a one wheel. One wheel? One wheel, one wheel. yeah. What, uh, what are you guys catching? Anything that bites, but we're fishing for walleye and crappie. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Thanks yeah. a lot, guys. Hey, thank you. Man. That, that, that's cool, man. That's real nice. Yeah, thank you. You put us on YouTube that quick? Uh, it'll probably show up maybe tomorrow. Okay. You already filmed it that fast? Yeah. While we were talking? Yeah. Ah. Were, were we looking at you? Uh, yeah, right here. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, okay. Cool. Hey, good luck, guys. All right, thank Hope you, you guys man. catch some big. Careful, yeah, thank you. And uh, happy Thanksgiving to you. Yeah, you too. Take care. We'll see you guys later. All right. So those guys were great. That was Bonnie and Tony. So I hope they caught something big. I love going around the reservoir because of the people you'll meet. Um, there's 
one time I met and spoke at length with a wildlife photographer. He was really cool and unfortunately I didn't have my GoPro with me and couldn't get any footage. But the uh, reservoir is great and one of the reasons I love one wheeling in Colorado is because you can do the same trail over and over again but the trail will drastically change depending on the season. You may have seen my prior video where I take my one wheel camping and in that I get some footage of a moose and two of her baby mooses. I don't know what you call a baby moose. Calves? Let me know in the comments below if you know what to call a baby moose. Um, but you can see that footage in one of my prior videos where I go camping with the one wheel. And in fact, on this ride today, as I was going, a big old deer jumped out in front of me and ran out in front of me. Of course, my GoPro is off and I missed that opportunity to catch that video. So lesson learned, always keep the camera rolling. So back to the shoes, things to look for when, things that I'm looking for in my next pair of shoes that I'll be getting. So looking at between the different shoe styles, you can get high tops, mid tops, and low tops, and each have their advantages. The high tops provide more protection, especially from something called ankle bites, and that's when, if you've ever had, uh, you know, if you've ever had to jump off your board and the, the board swings around or the board runs and hits your ankle, that's called an ankle bite, and that can be quite painful. High tops can help to mitigate that problem. But with high tops, you may give up a little bit in terms of flexibility and range of motion. And so that's where the low tops come in. While they provide less protection to your ankles, they do provide more in terms of range of motion. Range of motion. I do like having range of motion, and so I'll probably go with a low top. Maybe I'll consider a mid top. The next thing to consider is the amount of padding inside your shoe. If you want more padding, then you'll get more comfort. This is especially important if you like to do marathon type runs on your one wheel going for long distances. It's really important to have the comfort there so that your feet don't go numb. Of course, uh, the increased padding will also help protect you from heel bruises which happen when you have to run out of fall. A lot of times the hard impact on your heel can result in a heel bruise which is basically a bruise of your calcaneus uh, which is quite painful for anyone that's ever experienced it. But, of course, if you have a lot of padding then you're giving up in terms of the feel and the control of the board. A lot of people like to have um, be at one with their board and they want as little separating them from their board as possible. In, the, in an ideal world we would ride barefoot so that we can really feel the board and be able to react uh, to everything that's happening with the board immediately in real time. Of course we need that protection though uh, for our feet and so riding barefoot is not always ideal. So decreased padding in a shoe will help you with the board feel and control but then it may not be as comfortable may not give you as much support and it won't protect you as well from a heel bruise type injury there are basically two styles of skateboarding type shoes and I'll talk about those in just a second so I've had a crush on Tesla vehicles in general for ever since one passed me on the road uh, about seven years ago and I just had to find out what type of car that was and so when I came across this brand new Tesla Model 3 I had to slow down and take a look. Good looking car in white. I don't know if it's the whole electric vehicle thing but I had to come back around and take another look. If you'd like me to do a comparison of the electric vehicles Tesla versus one wheel let me know in the comments below and I'll make a video on that. So as I was talking about the different types of skate shoes, you can have, when you see the word vulcanized, some of these shoes were described as vulcanized versus cup sole. I had to do some research in that. Vulcanized basically, it's the way the shoe is put together and the way that the top of the shoe is bonded to the bottom of the shoe. Vulcanized, it's an easier process and so it's usually less expensive and therefore less durable but it results in a shoe that's lighter 
um, has more flexibility and can therefore give you better board feel. The other type of shoe is the cup sole design, which is, uh, I guess, a more durable way to adhere the, the top of the shoe to the bottom of the shoe, and it's more durable, therefore it'll be a little bit more, it'll be more expensive. The shoes tend to be less flexible and a little bit more bulky. I'm looking for a durable shoe. I'll probably go with the cup sole design with increased padding for comfort and protection of my heels, and I'll go with a low top design for more range of motion. So thanks for watching, and once I get my shoes, I'll post a video and give a report on how they compare to the current running shoes and hiking shoes that I wear in my videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.